Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender using a mobile. And the model that I've got here is the N300, which supports a lot of routers. It also supports the free routers that are provided by many internet service providers in India. So it's a very simple process. But before that, let's see what we have in the box and then we'll get to the setup part. All right, so the things that we get in the box are this quick installation guide, which has uh, detailed instructions on how to set this up. And the second thing that we have is the range extender itself. So this is how it looks. And these are the antennas that we have on the range extender. It's a pretty funky looking device. So now let's get to the setup part quickly. So the method that we will follow to set this up is the browser method. And to do that, we need to first connect this to a power source. So I'm going to use this extension board that I've got here. Now you can notice that the power indicator is blue. This indicates that the range extender is on. Now the first thing that we need to do is to connect your phone to the range extender. So here we'll go in the Wi-Fi configuration. Now it might connect to your home network. So I need to disable this and disconnect from this network. And then I can connect to the TP link extender that is shown here. So it says that you're connected to the device cannot provide internet. That's fine. Now we need to go to the browser and type in 192.168.0.254. So if you're not able to access this page, it's important that your phone is not connected to any data network. So mobile data and your home network should be off and it should be connected only to the range extender. Now here it's asking me to set up an admin password. So this is a password for connecting to the device. You can set it to anything that you know, you can remember easily. And then I'll click on login. Now on the next page, after you log in, it will show you a lot of different Wi-Fi options. You need to select the one which is yours. So I'm going to select this, which is my network. And then it will ask you for your Wi-Fi password. So this is your home Wi-Fi password that you need to enter here. Now, after this is done, you can click on next. And now it will show you a confirmation screen wherein it will show you your host name and the password. Here again, you need to check and click on confirm. Now on the next screen, it will ask you to set up an extender name. So this will be the name, the Wi-Fi SSID for this TP-Link device. And you can set it to anything of your choice so that, you know, while connecting, you can remember it easily. After that is done, you need to click on next. And now basically I can move this to a place which is convenient from like the point where I want to extend my home network. And uh, then I can click on done. So on this final confirmation page, it's asking me to connect to the extended network. So again, I'll go into my Wi-Fi settings and over here, I need to now connect to the newly created network. So here you need to enter the password that we had set earlier. So finally, we are connected to the extended network. Here's my original home network and this is the extended one. And now I can easily browse any website. So that's it for this one, guys. If you have any questions about this process, you can leave them in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. So thank you for watching this video and do subscribe to my channel.